It's Wes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the Fuji X100V. It's a great camera, but I want to talk about why you should consider not buying it in 2023. Now, don't get upset. Uh, let me explain first. I'm not saying the X100V is a bad camera. Far from it. It's an incredible piece of technology, a beautiful design, great features. However, I think there's a few reasons why you should hold off on buying it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you why I sold mine. Whoa! First of all, let's talk about the cost. The X100V is a premium camera. It comes with a premium price tag. You know, if you're a professional photographer or someone who takes their photography very seriously, it might be worth the investment. For most people, it's too expensive. And that was even a valid point before prices skyrocketed for this great camera. So don't put popularity or a trend in front of what's practical for your budget or appropriate for your needs. That's like putting the cart before the horse. And there's even the matter of availability to consider. So with the demand rising suddenly for the Fuji X100V, prices have gone up and it seems that new units are hard to come by or maybe that's vice versa. Maybe new units are hard to come by and so the used uh, camera prices for this gem are skyrocketing. And the truth is there's other cameras on the market that can give you similar results at a much lower price. You don't need to spend a ton of money to take great photos. Some of the best photos I've taken have been on my smartphone. Okay, actually, that's not actually a very cheap device. My phone is kind of expensive. Uh, a better example would be the Fuji X-T1 I picked up recently for $400. I love the images I've been able to get from this camera. Another reason why you should hold off on buying the X100V in 2023, this technology is always changing. The camera that's cutting edge or popular today might be outdated or not popular in a few years. The X100V is a great camera now, but you know, Fuji's gonna come out with something new. There's gonna be advancements uh, for the same price point or less with better features. Uh, so by waiting to buy a camera, you're gonna see what new features and technologies come out. So just, just wait, you might find out there's a better camera out there with equal or better features that better suits your needs and a budget. And perhaps the most important reason why you should hold off on buying the Fuji X100V is it's not really about the gear you have, it's about how you use it. So you can take great photos with any camera. Uh, it's all about your skills and creativity as a photographer. So instead of focusing on the gear, be focus on improving your skills, take classes, Go on photo walks with other uh, photographers. Watch YouTube tutorials and practice, practice, practice. So you'll be able to take great photos no matter the camera you have. Uh, so I would actually, actually argue that a more basic camera can be a good thing. You don't have to have the latest, greatest, trendiest, or most popular camera. You're forced, this way you're forced to think about the shots that you wanna create more than the buzz of the popular camera. In short, if you're thinking this way, you're thinking more creatively, uh, creatively and less like a consumer. You have to have a reliance on your skills and your eyes to take great photos. And that can be incredibly rewarding, like the X-T1 I mentioned earlier. I have as much fun shooting this than I do or did with the X-100V. So while the X-100V is a great camera, there's a few reasons you might uh, wanna hold off. Uh, it's expensive, tech's always changing, it's not about the grid, it's about your, it's not about the gear, it's about your skills and creativity as a photographer. So, you know, uh, if you decide to wait, you can find a better camera. But let me tell you why I decided to sell it. So, for myself, I have really decided that this year I want to hone in on matching the gear with the type of photography I do. So I do event photography, and um, I do some portraits, but I really like events and documenting uh, events, uh, candid photography. And so uh, what I wanted to do is make my gear match. And so the X100V is a great camera, but I don't use it when I go out and work with clients and do event photography. And so therefore, because prices are high, I sold it so that I could take advantage of using that cash for other things letting that camera go into other hands. Actually, I uh, had the X-S10 up in Ojai recently and I was blown away, blown away by the photos I was taking with that camera. And the, it was the TT Artisan's 28 millimeter lens. And so it was a cheaper camera, but I was really happy with those images. And so I came home and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna match my gear 
to the type of photography I do as a freelance. Now, if you just want extra cameras for enjoyment, that's great, but I decide I want to downsize and match my gear to the kind of photography I use as a freelancer. So I put up the X100V, it sold within a week, I got a great price for it, and so um, I'm, I'm okay, I'm happy. It was a great camera to own, I've actually bought it twice, so you know, you never know what the future may hold. Uh, but I was okay letting it go, and so I let it go, and I'm focusing on the X-H2S, which is my uh, number one client photography uh, camera, uh, and also videography. I'm going to do a video on why I chose the X-H2S over the Canon R5, uh, but that's my number one camera. And then the X-S10 is actually my go-to YouTube content creation camera. I love it, and it takes amazing still photos. So just remember photography is all about the art of capturing moments. It's not just about the gear. Don't get too caught up in the latest and greatest cameras, the trendiest cameras. Just focus on your skills and you'll be able to take great photos that no one else can take because you're tapping into your creativity and your perception and you're capturing those important moments. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Tell me in the comments why you think I'm wrong or maybe why you agree on the off chance you agree. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Hey, if no one has told you yet today, you're a beautiful person and a good person, let me be the first one to tell you that. Peace.